right, guys. So we're going to start out with our transition shade. And this one is in Smarty Pants. Um, it's from the Tarlet in Bloom palette. We're going to be putting that into the crease as well in the outer corner. And then we're going to be dragging it in the outer corner back and forth, back and forth, as you can see right now. I love this shade for a transition color. Then we're going to be going in with the shade Rebel. This one's like a rich chocolate kind of color. It's a, a lighter chocolate shade, but with a reddish tone, undertone, I mean. And we're going to be putting that in the outer corner and just blending and blending and blending. And for that, I'm using my Detailing Morphe brush. This is the M514. If you guys have hooded lids, I strongly recommend this brush. And all I'm doing right here is just building up that rich color and um, in the shade Rebel. And I'm just building it in the outer corner just to get the color payoff that I will desire. Then we're going to be taking the shade Leader, which is a deep chocolate color. And we're going to be picking up barely anything on this brush. And I'm going to be packing that on the outer corner. I just wanted to get give it a little bit of depth because um, I'm not going to fully apply that leader color yet until I have that cut crease that I'm going to be creating a little bit later. But you just want to blend, 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 guys. That's the key. And then we're going to start off by cutting the crease. I'm starting in the inner corner, just dragging that paint pot across the lid halfway through. And then... We're going to be going in with our NYX Mixing Medium. If you guys have hooded lids, you guys are absolutely going to love this for you guys. And the eyeshadow does not transfer. I'm putting a little bit of that, a little bit of that on the lid before I go in with the eyeshadow because what this does, it acts as a adhesive. Now we're going to be picking up the shade Firecracker, which is this super pigmented bronzy shade. Love it. And um, so what that mixing medium is going to do it's going to actually basically it's going to be like a glue for the eyeshadow on the lid because you know when we have eyeshadows on the lids they always transfer to the crease and it just looks messy so that's why i love this mixing medium what it does it allows that eyeshadow to stay and just it's like glue guys i love it then we're going to start picking up that leader shade which is that dark dark chocolate shade and we're going to start packing it on the outer corner blending that shimmer with the matte chocolate shade leader i love this this eyeshadow look is so good for hooded eyelids guys you guys need to try and play it around with it because the eyeshadow that i do it always has to work for me obviously um but you always can mimic it even if you don't have you know hooded eyelids you can always change it to something that you like and that works for your eye shape then I'm, I just added a little bit of Inglot 77 Gel Liner, just a thin one across the lid so that way I can hide my lash band. Then going in with some MAC um, Extended Play Giga Black Lash. Love this mascara, just adding a little bit to my lashes before I go in with some falsies. And then the falsies that I will be using are from the Makeup Shack. They're super long and dramatic. I love them. And they're in the style I pop in. So I love this eyelashes. They are amazing, guys. I love them. And I, all I'm doing is I'm first putting the center on and then dragging the, the back of the lash and connecting it and doing it in the front. I just love how this turned out, guys. Then, as usual, I'm going to be cleaning up my eyeshadow. I love that dragged out effect, so I'm going to be... Putting some concealer at the edge of my eye and then swiping up so that way it cleans up all of that eyeshadow. And then right from there, I just drag the concealer down just a little bit and blend it into the skin. We will highlight later so that will be gone. But anyway, guys, so then we're going to be going in with the Anastasia So Hollywood Highlighter and pop that into the inner corners to brighten it up a little bit more. I love that, guys. This is my trick. I always use this highlighter as an inner corner highlight. I just love it. And that's how the eye should look so far, guys. Then we're going to be going in with our Morphe M530. I love this 
contouring brush. It just, it, you can contour with it and you can blend out, which is the reason why I love this brush. This is for Morphe. And we're going to be going in with that shade Havana. I just love this shade. For me, I cannot use any cool tone bronzers or contour pow powders. I can't use those because those look gray on me. So that's why I love either the red undertones or either the orangey um, undertones. So I just love this shade for myself. And I'm just going to be blending and blending. I always smile because when I smile, I love to look where my contour is and make sure the placement for my contour is correct. And I haven't added any more of that powder. I'm just using whatever's on the brush at the moment until right now. Then I'm going to be going on the temples of my forehead. And you guys want to get really on the temples of the forehead just because you want the whole face to look cohesive. You don't want just your cheeks to be contoured and nothing else. So now we're going to be going in with the ABH highlighter in So Hollywood. I'm not going to highlight like crazy today, guys, because I do have a little bit of texture and I hate it. So I'm not going to highlight that much. Then we're going to be going in with the Kylie Cosmetics in Gorge. I love this liquid lipstick. This is the Coco Collection, which I think is launched today again. They brought it back. And that's pretty much it for the video. Happy Valentine's, guys, and stay safe.